Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and yesterday Google released Android 11 developer preview four. Now this was a bit unexpected since we really didn't expect a preview four. In fact, we were expecting a beta, but they've pushed that back to June 3rd. So we won't have the first beta until June 3rd. So right now we have developer preview four and there's a few small changes in it. And this was a pretty small update. And as you can see here in my screenshot, it was 252 megabytes on my pixel three a XL. Now I didn't install it on my pixel four XL because there's actually a note in there along with developer preview three, that face unlock will no longer work. If you flash the pixel four or four XL to the newest versions of the developer preview, developer preview three, developer preview four, and then you go back to Android 10. It actually warns you about that. So if you have a pixel four or four XL face unlock will no longer work if you go back to Android 10. And so this is really only meant for developers to check out all the new features. Now also Android auto could have issues as well. So there's a bunch of issues. I wouldn't recommend installing it unless you have a secondary device to check it out or you're a developer and you want to develop for it. Now, one quick thing before we get into the features that I noticed before I started editing this video is that the screen is sort of rolling on the pixel three AXL. You may be able to see this with the current camera and I tried different cameras. I tried different frame rates, different shutter speeds, things like that. And it seems to be something with Android 11 developer preview four. I didn't see this before on this device. And normally you won't see it because I adjust the camera. So you don't see it just like you don't see it on the pixel four XL. So just keep that in mind. There's something with this update that did that. And so that's why you're seeing that. Now the build number on this is RPP four two zero zero four zero nine dot zero one five. And this particular build does not have a ton that's new, but there are some new features. So let's take a look at the first thing. And the first thing has to do with the pixel themes available. So if we press and hold on the home screen, go to styles and wallpaper, then we go down to style under style. Let's maybe set up a custom one and then we'll go to next. And once we get to the shapes, we now have some icon shape changes. So instead of all of the square and the ones we're used to, we also have this kind of hexagon looking one. And then we also have this one as well. So if you want to use those, you can use these, they are new shapes for your icons and your theme. You don't have to use them, but you can use them if you'd like. Now there's been some changes with notifications as well. And one of them coming from developer preview three to developer preview four has changed. Now before you could, dismiss persistent notifications. So you'll see this is a YouTube video before I could just swipe it off the screen, clear all they would go away and it just wouldn't be there. And then we could pull down and see it again. That's been removed from this update. And that's sort of unfortunate. They've also updated press and hold. So if you press and hold on a notification, they've refined the way it looks. So now you have a settings icon where you can just go to settings and then you have alerting and silent and priority if it's a messaging application. So you can turn off notifications and they continue to tweak this. So I think you'll see some changes with the beta as well. Now they've made some changes to multitasking or your recent. So if we swipe up here, we go to our recents, you'll see down at the bottom, they've changed it. So we have screenshot and share, but we also have select. So maybe we go to something with text, we hit select, it selects the text and then makes it easier to select. So we can select whatever we want, copy and paste it. And you see all the other apps go away. If we hit the X, everything comes back and then we can go back through. Now there was an update with developer preview three, where you swipe this off and you could get it back. But right now you can't do that. They've changed it so that the undo feature within the multitasking or the recents doesn't work anymore. So maybe they'll bring that back. Maybe they won't, but it doesn't seem to work anymore. Now they have made a small change to picture in picture. So if I play my video here, we'll just turn it down. We'll go home and you'll see it's a little bit buggy, but it says no connection. And you'll see, we can resize it. If we tap on it, it resizes. And then we have a new icon or a new UI icon down here at the bottom where we can dismiss it. It's a little bit buggy. We can dismiss it like that and it goes away and it does work, but it's still a little is a little bit buggy with the resizing and everything, but we have that ability now. Now, Wi-Fi options have been updated as well. So if we press and hold on Wi-Fi, we'll go into our Wi-Fi, and now we have disconnect as an option. So we can disconnect from here. If I go to advanced, we also have auto connect so we can have it auto connect. And this wasn't there before. We did have the option to change some things with previous developer previews, but we did not have that option here. So that's something new. Now within settings, there's a couple new options as well. So if we go into settings and then we go to apps and notifications, 
and then we'll just wait for a notification to show up. Maybe we'll just tap on Google here under that. If we go to permissions under permissions, if we scroll down, we now have remove permissions. If app isn't used, it says to protect your data permissions for this app will be removed if the app isn't used for a few months. And so that's turned on by default now. And it's just a new option that's there. That's really nice. I'm glad that they've added things like this. Maybe you're not using something that uses a lot of permissions. It will revoke those permissions so that you don't forget. And there aren't apps tracking what you're doing. So that's really nice to implement that in. Now there's one other thing that people have found within the code. I have not seen on this developer preview, but I did see it on a previous version with gestures. So if we go to our gestures with system navigation and gestures, some people are saying within the code are some tutorials on how this works. Now in setting up Android 11, I saw some of these tutorials. I don't see them here, but we can change the settings and we have tutorials built in. So it just shows you how to use the gestures built into the OS. So that's really nice. And you can see it's animated here as well. So it's just showing how to use it, which is a nice little change. And then finally, they've made a quick or tiny little change to the top here at the top. You can see everything fits nicely in previous versions. Sometimes they would run off the display depending on which display you're using. So maybe your time wouldn't show properly or your battery percentage. And that is everything new in Android 11 developer preview four. I'm sure there's some updates to security and things like that, but it is a developer preview. And I would urge you not to install it unless you have a secondary device, especially if it's a pixel four or four XL and just wait until June and you'll be able to try it and it'll be much more stable for you to use regularly. But let me know if you found anything else in the comments below. I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>